In between the cities of Dallas and Fort Worth, it's Arlington, Texas. Host to the grand mecca of football, AT&T Stadium, the home of the Cowboys. Cavante Turpin on the return. A good return as he takes it across the 30. Set to go now on first and 10. Dak going to put it up right away. He's got a man. It's CeeDee Lamb. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. These are the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup. And I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. First down, Prescott. To the left side, caught by Lamb. Two straight hookups. This one good for 10 yards. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And, and what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand and results in a completion. And he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. Shotgun snap for Prescott. That is caught. Hooks gets the grab. And he will get into the end zone. Brandon Hooks. Touchdown, Cowboys. And that is the way to start a game. Not just score, but Greg, score quickly. A nice opening drive for the first six points. Well, it seems, Mike, the hour spent on that opening game script was time well spent. I mean, to take the ball right down the field that quickly right out of the gates, that's a pretty good opening drive and an early six points. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. On the return, it's Rashid Shaheed. He's across the twenty, taken down just shy of the twenty-five. So here's a first and ten. Now they'll start. From the 24. The tight end Moreau is in motion. Little short pass here. Caught by his tight end. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Every offensive coordinator has drive starters, meaning it's a completion. It's a run play that we feel great about. It's a screen. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Olave is the motion man. Car from the gun on third down. Throw right side to Olave. That's a dozen for number 12, and he's got a first down as well. 
It's a really critical conversion here because after not scoring on your opening drive, you just can't afford to follow that up with a three and out. So you find yourself down seven, nothing. Sustain this drive and at the very least, see if you can come away with some points. On the ground for the first time, this is Alvin Kamara. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Car now on second down. This one is caught by Jawan Johnson. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, We'll step aside. Third and a yard. He'll try and run for this with Kamara. And he'll get to the 48, and that's going to be good enough. It'll pick up a first down. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. First down throw for Carr. That'll be caught, it's Alvin Kamara. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. But think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. you look middle here, and there's Olave. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. Timing and trust critical elements of this quick passing game if your target and the quarterback are not on the same page it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down converted twice on third down already on this drive now can they do it for a third time car now now a short one caught by the tight end johnson you can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. The tight end Moreau is in motion. They'll go for it. It's Williams. And he's going to have a Saints first down, it would appear. Yes, he does, by a full yard. They get the conversion on fourth and two. I know it's fourth and short, Mike, but at this distance, you actually have to clear a lane out. You can't just fall forward or push the pile. So that conversion, it's as much of a credit to the blocking as it is to the running back seeing the hole and hitting it. He's got it at the seven. What a pickup, a gain of 18. And it sets up first and goal. And this has been a really nice answer so far to this game, Mike. I mean, you watch your opponent take the initial drive and go right down the field and score. And what are you gonna do in response? What are you gonna do when you get that ball back for the first time in your huddle? And I'll tell you what, they've answered all those questions and now they're set up first and goal. And he's into the end zone. Alvin Kamara. Touchdown, New Orleans. 
And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game, and you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score on the opening possession, and they're able now to go out and square it on up. It allows you to take a deep breath, maybe get a little confidence for your defense to go out and get a stop, and they come over with this extra point. We got ourselves a tie ball game. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 seven, seven as they kick it off. The return starts at the 13. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready now for their second drive. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. That's complete to Elliott. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. From the shotgun, it's Dak. That's caught. Left side. It's complete. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Ah, the pressure too much. And he goes down. Now, following that sack, we have a player who was injured. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Now Prescott. He's got the open man. That's Jalen Tolbert. Well, that helps. It's going to be a much more manageable third down, getting some good yardage on that second down play. After that first down sack, I think we both kind of looked at each other and said, all right, well, there goes this drive. But a really nice job there in the passing game on second down. That big chunk brings them from second and long to now at least third and manageable. Third and short, Prescott. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Brandon Cooks with that pass. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. When you air it out like that on these big shots downfield, they're not always high percentage plays. It takes a lot of things to line up timing-wise, location of the field, accuracy of the throw to result in those big plays. But I think they've got to continue to search for those and try to generate a little bit of a spark. The Saints offense about ready to get going on their second possession. All even here in this opening quarter. And the drive will begin with first down. From the shotgun, it's caught. That's to the sideline, taken in by Johnson. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains, 
by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They'll work now on second and four. On the handoff, running left, it's Kamara. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings him right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no gain. Carr working out of the gun. That's to the sideline where he finds Olave. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. Here's Carr throwing from the pistol. Oh, the blitz overwhelming the offensive line, and down he goes. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Now, a second down throw from Carr. Toward the middle of the field that time, but incomplete. You know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. Car to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And this passing game continues to come up short these last couple plays. That's two consecutive incompletions in a row. Now they're staring fourth down right in the face. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Prescott. The open man is Tolbert. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. On the ground, it's Elliott. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. All even on the scoreboard. We're back to Arlington in a moment. Backfield empties. Five receivers in the formation for third down and five. Prescott now. Open man, right side. He's got it. 14 on the pickup. First down, Cowboys. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. Catch is made. That is Schoonmaker. Plays like this on tape. It sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. They'll come up now for second down and four. On the play fake. Dak, quick throw, taken in, and this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and 
It wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Here's a second and nine. Now, Elliott. And he'll pick his way forward. A gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. A shotgun snap for Prescott. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? Aubrey's kick is good. And the Cowboys will break our tie and take a 10-7 lead. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here comes the all-pro returner from last year, Rashid Shaheed. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. Now, out comes the New Orleans offense. They're ready to take over once again. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and 10. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. On first down, they'll start out with Kamara. And the D closes quickly. He stopped after a gain of a yard. It is Jordan Lewis who brought him down. Here's second and nine. The tight end, Moreau, is in motion. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. His throw left side, taken in by Johnson. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells me, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. On play action. Here's Dak. That one. Oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looks like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. 
Throwing over the middle. This one is complete. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. And then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. That's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Look him up on a second down and eight. Now, Prescott. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. That is caught. Hooks gets the grab. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. So far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. He was trying to get it to C.D. Lamb. It's second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. They'll throw again. Dak. He'll find his tight end. That's Jake Ferguson. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it he did a nice job here because that was not a big hole the quarterback had to put a little extra on that one and they were able to make the completion contact up front did they get one of the defenders to jump So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Dak going to run with it himself. And he will take it in himself. Dak Prescott. Touchdown, Dallas. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. The dual threat of the quarterback. When you have one that can run, why not use him, especially down here, Greg? And they punch it in for the touchdown. There's nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than down here near the goal line when he can call his own number. And in this case, that's exactly what he does. And he's able to take it in himself. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Williams now to return and their drive will begin at the 30 yard line the Saints offense ready to take over once again they find themselves down 17 to 7 as this drive starts first and 10 Now, Carr, under pressure, and down he goes, they got him. 
They just have to be better on first down. They've got to find a way to continue to operate ahead of the sticks. And I don't mind throwing it on first down. That is the best down in football to attempt to pass. But if they don't protect the passer, none of it's going to matter. Carnell on second down. And this will be incomplete. Persolave, the intended receiver. Third down coming up. Rough sequence over these last couple plays. First down sack. Second down big play attempt. Falls incomplete. And now to make matters worse, you've got to operate in third and long on a defense that knows they can just pin their ears back and try to get after the quarterback. Here's Carr. Quick throw here is complete. Pretty good effort on that one. It will not be enough. It's going to bring up fourth down. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. And we will not see a return on this one as it will be marked down. The Cowboys offense ready to come back out for this next possession. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. Pistol now for Prescott. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. Second down, Prescott. Now a screen set up for Elliott. Just a little slow developing on that screenplay there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Dak. This one is taken in downfield. Big completion. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. He's got it at the 7. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. So now, from half the distance closer, here's first and goal. Let the fullback try to power it home. He'll try to push forward, but only a yard down to the two. Second down throw for Preston. The pressure gets home. He's lost the football. And this is taken in by the defense.
They'll start this one on the ground with Kamara. Oh, boy, they got to be careful there. That was dangerously close to a safety and two points for the defense. But they do get it at the one. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part coming through again with another big stop for a loss. And he'll move it out of harm's way. Again, the three up to the four-yard line. They need eight as they come up for third down. They'll go again here with Kamara. And he gets him out of danger and then some. Up past the 20-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Carr working out of the gun. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. They'll come up here on second down and five. And the shotgun. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. And the defense has it. Prescott on first down. Catch is made there on the left side by Cooks. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Back to throw is Prescott. He pulls it in around the five. And the Cowboys are looking at a first and goal. As he's taken down at the two-yard line. They'll run. Here's Elliott. A dive, and he's in. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Cowboys. So the turnover turns into a quick touchdown, and Greg, that's exactly how you want your offense to take care of business. Anytime your defense can create those sudden change situations, Mike, absolutely, you have to take advantage of it. One second, you're sitting on the bench going over your next drive. All of a sudden, after that turnover, you've got to be able to get out on the field and go take advantage of the short field and results in a nice touchdown. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. On the return, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Saints offense going to take over just before the half. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. Bar now. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Not wanting to take a chance this time. He'll keep this one on the ground. And he'll take this up to the 30. A uh, pick up of five.
Here now, third and five. Carr to throw. He's got his man complete to Johnson. And then can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. to throw its car he'll be forced to just throw that one away it's incomplete you can't fault the quarterback on this one Mike he really didn't even have much of an opportunity by the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield the defense was all over him and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap second down car And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Saints offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. A run here with Kamara. And he's trying to turn the quarter, but will not do it. Brought down behind the line. With the struggles they had running the ball in the first half, Mike, it makes sense that they're trying here early in the second to get this ball carrier going. But this last run's not going to do them any favors. Another rush, another loss of yards. No motion there, tight end Johnson. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. A tough spot here. Third and long. Carr. He'll look middle here, and there's Olave. 17 yards on that connection. First down, New Orleans. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. And a strong first down run, a pickup of nine, setting up second and short. Back is Carr. Now a short one caught by the tight end, Johnson. And he'll be taken down after a gain of three, but that is good enough for a first down. This play is actually really well defended here, but I'll tell you, Mike, as you know, my philosophy is the tight end is always open. This just supports my case. On first and ten, Carr. Right back to Johnson. He's got it again. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Here's a screen coming for Kamara. Good pickup of 16 on that screenplay and a first down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set 
of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard him one-on-one -on -one and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. A pickup of 10, and it's going to set up first and goal. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. That's hauled in at the two. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. From the two now, here's second and goal. The tight end, Moreau, is in motion. They'll try to run it with Williams. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front. And he's in. Jamal Williams. Touchdown, Saints. We were talking during the break, Mike. We felt that this was kind of a do-or-die drive. They felt like they needed to come away with the touchdown here, and now they're showing a little life. Yeah, a little, little bit of belief, don't you think? Everyone on that field knows they've been a part of a comeback before. It's a pretty big mountain, but a good way to get started here to begin this half. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here's Turpin. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. to start this on the ground with Elliott. He did a good job of making one man miss but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. On second down, it's Dak. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. On third down, Prescott. Taking off. He'll try to get there. And the quarterback scrambling maneuvers his way back to the line of scrimmage. But that's all he can get out of that one. Give him credit for keeping this play alive as long as he could. This easily could have gone down for a loss, but he's kind of able to find his way forward and at least get back to the line of scrimmage. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And over there. The visitors' offense ready to see what they can do. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. Here's Kamara. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Now Carr on the bootleg. Left side into the hands of Olave. 
He'll be out of bounds, but after picking up the first down on a gain of seven. Now, Carr, right back to Olave. He's got it again. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. They'll run. It's Kamara. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Carr from the gun on third down. That's going to be pulled in by Kamara. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now, decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? As a play caller, those are the plays that just drive you crazy, Mike. You think you're going to pick up the first down. You get tackled just shy of the sticks. And now, a little bit of a gamble here on fourth down. A fair catch taken. And they're going to start right at their own 20-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott. He'll be stopped after a pickup of about three. The Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, from the secondary, on the stop. They face second down and seven. Again, here's Zeke. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. The Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, from the secondary, on the stop. Third and five. From the shotgun, it's Dak. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And that's exactly how you teach it. They want these defenders to time the hit that right when the ball gets there, you separate the receiver from the ball. And those are the ones on offense, man. You just have to make that catch, Mike. I know it's easier said than done, but you know the hit's coming. You've got to squeeze that thing, brace for impact, and make that play for your offense. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The visitors' offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They'll do so with first and ten. The tight end, Moreau, is in motion. And he'll move this ahead for about four yards. The veteran, Eric Hendricks, on the stop. Here's second and six. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is why it's so critical that the quarterback and his intended target are on the same page. They got to speak the same language. When there's miscommunication, it leads to errant throws. And when errant throws lead to big missed opportunities. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. 
He locates his receiver. That's Perry. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. He'll get this out quickly to his left. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Well, sometimes as a play caller, it's pretty easy. Get the ball into the hands of your best players. In this case, a wide receiver screen. Get it to him quick. Get some blockers out in front. Let him do the rest after the catch. And he picks up the first down. Set to go now on first and 10. Shahid in motion. That is caught at the three. And he'll take it on in. A.T. Perry. Touchdown, New Orleans. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, here's Turpin. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The home team's offense ready for this next possession. They'll start out first down and 10. On the give, it's Elliott. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's a second and six. They'll stick with Elliott. Here's a third down and four. So, three quarters now in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a third down and four. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. Got a man, that's Tolbert. 15 yards through the air. That's good for a Dallas first down. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense, and you don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock, but the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter with the lead. The goal is we want to end the game with the ball. So that third down conversion is going to go a long way. Protect the ball, continue to pick up first downs. If they do that, I don't even think their opponent sees the ball again. They'll run Zeke up the middle. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down. A 
A shotgun snap for Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page and now brings up fourth down. And this one is off the mark. It is no good. The visitors' offense ready to get back at it. They'll start from the plus side of midfield, looking to possibly take the lead here. It's first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Carr. He'll look underneath here and find Kamara. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Take it in right side by the tight end, Johnson. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Here's Carr, throwing from the pistol. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, and now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Carr working out of the gun. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. Oh, not the greatest punt there. This is going to hit and go out of bounds. The home team's offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. The open man is Tolbert. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Second down, Prescott. He'll drop this for Elliott. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game, just one more thing for the defense to have to defend, make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone, defend every blade of grass and a really good running back, Goes a long way in doing that. Second and seven. Now Prescott. Pass completed right side to Ferguson. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and 
They didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Handoff here to Zeke. Not much there. Maybe a yard. We'll toss here to Zeke. Room up the sideline at the 45. And they get him to the ground, but he's all the way down to the 35-yard line. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop off a big run. A first down throw for Prescott. Got his receiver on the in-cut. He's got it. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. Second down and three. To throw is Prescott. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. That big boy was moving, Mike. That was impressive. I mean, it's not easy to bring down this quarterback in any situation, but to hawk him down from his interior defensive line spot, nearly out by the sideline, that's beyond impressive. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Now a screen set up for Elliott. Pretty good effort on that one. It will not be enough. It's going to bring up fourth down. It's a pretty good effort there on third and long. Initially, I really thought that screen was timed up pretty well, and he had a chance to pick up the first down, but give credit to the defense. It was the pursuit and running to the ball, and they're able to stop him just short. And this one right down the middle. It's good. So it is still a one-score game, but a little more breathing room now. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Williams on the return. They get across the 20, mark them at the 22-yard line. The visitors offense ready to take over once more. The deficit, six points. So a touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll run. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. Throwing is Carr. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. They just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time. But I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. On third down, they'll set up to throw. Open man, left side, he's got it. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback? You find yourself down here late in the fourth quarter, Mike, facing a tough third down. You've got to have it. But you know what? He calls the play, he breaks the huddle, and he's like, you know what, Coach? I got it. That's a big-time throw to now keep this drive alive as they go down looking for that go-ahead touchdown. That pass sideline is caught. Nice catch. Stays in bounds. 
And he's got the first down. Terrific job with the feet to make that one a grab. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10. Now Carr. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. Quick throw, out wide. It's caught. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator, I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. to throw it's car here's a screen coming for Camara and they'll work this close to a first down maybe just a tad short crowd noise rises big play here third and one the tight end Moreau is in motion Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning remain as we get set for first and ten. The tight end Moreau is in motion. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. They'll drop to throw. That's going to be incomplete. They cannot hook up there. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. All right, so this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two-minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to the goal line and in. Chris Olave, touchdown Saints. Well, there's still some time remaining, but what a sequence of events here, Mike. I mean, late in the game, they get the touchdown that they needed to tie it, and now they can take the lead with the extra point. A critical extra point is up and good. They have taken a one-point lead here in the late stages of this one. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Short kick taken at the 17. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Cowboys offense back onto the field for their next possession. The deficit is won as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. This is first and ten. 
From the shotgun, it's Dak. A short throw caught by Ferguson. They get 13 to begin the drive. It's a first down. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. That's to Ferguson once again. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. All right, this is a good start. Plays like these are definitely going to help as you work your way into scoring range. While you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it, they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. On second down, he'll fake the handoff and hold on to it. So now the Saints will use the first of their three timeouts. They'll talk things over before third down. To throw is Dak. That's to the left side. He's got Ferguson. Pretty good effort on that one. It will not be enough. It's going to bring up fourth down. So, pressure kick coming now for Brandon Aubrey. This to grab a late lead. This kick is good. They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the mistake there, the roughing call on the field goal, they'll take the three points off the board, keep possession of the ball, and have it first down. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. He pulls it in around the five. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Here's Elliott. And he's going the wrong way. Dropped back at the seven. And now the Cowboys are going to take a timeout. Buck is stopped. 55 seconds remaining here in the game. So here comes third and five. Elliott. New Orleans, third and final timeout. They get the stoppage with just over 50 seconds to go in this one. So, pressure kick coming now for Brandon Aubrey. This a potential game winner. This kick is good! And they take the lead in the final minute of this game. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Shahid now to return it. 
he'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Saints offense make their way out to take over once more. They trail by two and will start this drive with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Carr. Throw left side, that's Johnson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. So it's a win for the Cowboys. They took this one down to the wire. The late field goal does the trick. They walk away with the victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys. As we say, so long from Arlington.